So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when you just sort of blindly go through. We're doing two results, yeah? And um, what happens when you attempt it with this question and therefore what you can do to try and get around that because things kind of explode a little bit, right? So what I've done is I've set up over here on the right hand side, these are all of the results I'm about to use, okay? I want to change the function, I want to change the integrand, and I want to change the variable of integration. So here's my introduction of the t results. As with extension one, when you use t results, you've got to say, let t equal. Please don't, even if you've got it in your head or you just look at the reference sheet, please don't jump in there, right? Like, what, what is this t business that you're going on about? And sometimes, you know what t equals to, you don't want it to be 10 theta or 2, maybe you want 10 theta, maybe you want whatever, okay? So make sure you define it, is my point. Once you've defined it, I go straight to sign because that's what's relevant to me in this particular integral. And then I go through this, and that's a result which I remember, but you can verify it fairly easily. And now I'm ready to go, okay? So like I said, I'm gonna give this uh, a go just on the face of it, and uh, things, as you will see, turn wrong, okay? Or at least they turn not very helpful. So. Here's what I'm going to start off with. What have I got on my numerator? Well, there's just a regular sine theta. So I'll go, sorry, this is the integral of. There you go. There's the replacement of sine theta. But as well as that, I have to replace the variable of integration. I've got to change the variable of integration. So I'm going to multiply by this on the numerator. Are you okay with that? So I've got a 2 um, dt on d theta, and that d theta is going to cancel shortly. So far, so good. Okay, you have a look at this denominator. It doesn't look that different. You just have a 2 hanging out the front. 2 plus, and then I'm going to do sine theta root again. d theta, sorry. Cancel, cancel. So far, so good. So this is just kind of straightforward. I'm using all the substitutions I've got, and I'm hoping and praying that algebraically things are going to pan out for me. Right, now before I go much further, uh, it looks to me like it I can cancel out a factor of 2. Do you notice that? So that'll make things nicer for me. Cancel there, cancel there, cancel there. Does that look alright so far? Now what else can I do here? Fractions on fractions. Suggestions. Okay, so I'm going to multiply through the numerator and the denominator. So it's here's here twice. 1 plus t squared. Okay, that's a good step. And we've seen that happen lots and lots. You will do that repeatedly because it often is the denominator if you've got sine or cosine. But in this case, it won't quite be enough. You want to tell me why? Yeah. Don't you multiply 1 plus t squared bracket squared? Okay, so you notice on the denominator, if I multiply through by 1 plus t squared, that will resolve this fraction. So that looks good. But on the numerator, if I multiply by th through by 1 plus t squared, I'll only get rid of one of these denominators because it's appearing twice, right? It's appearing once from sine and once from this derivative. So instead of multiplying through once and leave it with fractions on fractions, I'm going to multiply through twice, okay? So I'm going to multiply everything by 1 plus t squared squared, okay? What does that leave me with on my numerator? Just 2t, yeah? Okay? Um, what does it leave me with on the denominator? Well, this 1 will become 1 plus t squared squared. And there's a t there. This 1 plus t squared will cancel. And there will be another 1 plus t squared that comes from the right. How's it look so far? How's my algebra look, I mean? Look OK? Does it check out? OK, now at this point, before I go any further, you're starting now to be suspicious. Because what do I do with this? What can I do? Well, when you expand out, and it doesn't take that much to see, you got your 2t on the numerator. What are you getting down the bottom here? This is, this is gross, right? Like, I mean, I can take out a factor of 1 plus c squared if I like, but it's, it's not that nice. Um, I could say, uh, okay, um, uh, by the way, factorizing is not that bad an idea because you might think, well, partial fractions, I can go from here, is going to be a bit of a disaster. What happens if I expand out? I'm going to get t to the 4, 2t squared plus 1, plus t, plus t cubed. Yeah? Huh. What, what can I do? I do. 
divide through by t squared. So you're suggesting I'm going to have 2 on t here. This will become t squared plus 2 plus 1 on... It's, it's, not going to, it's not going to take me anywhere helpful. Not in a hurry anyway. Okay? So I'm going to look at this and I'm going to say, is there something else I can do? Seeing this maybe suggests I should have changed my approach or maybe done something before I just went straight to the t results. Any takers? Um, you add and minus subtract 2 Okay, so the problem is, and we've seen, in fact, I think a previous result I did for you was this guy. For, I'm doing this from memory, so my coefficients might be slightly off. Okay, now we've seen this before. This panned out just fine. Okay, the difference between this and this is that you have an additional trig function which appears up here on the numerator, and that's exactly what caused our problem here. Do you notice that? Right? So you're like, oh, this turns into this, which turns into multiply through by your quartic function, and that's why everything just kind of unraveled and became a mess. So this is me identifying what's the problem and therefore what's a likely solution. 